So I suppose the first piece of context we have to look at is QQI, which is Quality and Qualifications Ireland. And this is a new certification body. They, they were actually established, or it was established in November 2012. And it is actually the an amalgamation of four previous bodies. And what, what this means is that QQI now have responsibility across the framework from levels one to 10 for accreditation and, and quality assurance. So if we look at the common award system, okay, and this is the system, as I said, previously a FETAC award system, now transitioned over into QQI from levels one to six on the framework. Now, the Common Award system, it's, it has been recognised as, as, as an excellent system. It's a very transparent system, written directly in relation to the framework, but it's also volume-based or credit-based, and that's what makes it easy to use. So we have a major award with a credit value, then we have the minors to add up, and then we have uh, other minor credit values. But the ones we, we need to look at for today... A major award at level one has 20 credits. Okay, so if you're looking at a, a major award for your learners at level one, they'll have to accumulate 20 credits. Now, most of the minors at level one have five credits, but there are some that might have 10. Okay, a major award at level two has 30 credits. Again, most of the minors had five, some might have 10. And then you see the jump, a major award at level three has 60 credits, most of the minors have 10, but then we have defaults 5 and 20 as well. So you might find some at 5 and some at 20, and it builds up as we go along. But today, uh, level 1 major has 20, level 2 major has 30, and level 3 has 60 credits. The level 1 common awards then, there are two level 1 major awards. Okay, so you can seek certification for learners in two level one majors. We have a level one certificate in communications and a level one certificate in general learning. Now, there are 25 minors at level one that can be used to gain those majors. Okay, and they're all available, as I said, on fetac.ie. And the majors, as I said, are called, sorry, the majors are called certificates, the minors are components components leading towards a certificate. This is just taken from the FETAC website. Again, if it's not that clear, it is on FETAC.ie, and that is really where to look at it. But it's a listing. What we've done is we've taken the major award in general learning and looked at all the minors that are available. So if you click on to FETAC.ie, look for the code. They all have a code. This is the level one major in general learning, P1GLO, um, the total credit value for the cert is 20. This can be achieved by completing, and then you have a minimum credit value of 15 from this listing of components. Now, I'm not sure if that's that clear for you, but it's very, it's very broad. You have visual art, craft, design, drama, listening and speaking, nonverbal communication, food choice and health, health-related exercise relaxation techniques, setting learning goals. Do you get what I'm saying? Very, very general. And then a remaining credit value of five can be obtained by using components from level one, which is this level, or you can use a component from level two as well. So if you have a learner who might be stronger in a certain area, you might decide to do level two with them. Or you may have a learner come to you who already has a level two. So you can use credits from level two as well. And we've just given you an example of how to achieve a level one certificate in general learning. So for example, level one major award is 20 credits in the middle, and the four minors are the four components that this particular learner has completed. Health-related exercise for five credits, personal safety, five credits, setting learning goals, five credits, and drama, five credits. Now, you could decide to do more than 20 credits with your learner. You know, you, there could be other components. They might like to do relaxation techniques or visual art or reading, okay? So just to be aware of that, you can do more than 20. So while all of the awards, these FETAC QQI awards, are now available on the FETAC website, you cannot just go download those and decide you're going to deliver them to your learners. You have to ensure that wherever you're delivering your course, 
that that provider or centre has a programme in place that they have developed and they've submitted into the awarding body and they've got validated. So there's another layer of work there for any provider. It's not just simply taking these awards and running with them. You have to get this programme piece in place as well as providers. So many of you will be working for different providers, I suppose, and you will have to ask that question to make sure that the programme is there. So I suppose just from what Siobhan was saying there, we're very clear now that the award um, is a specification or a document or a standard that's set by the awarding body. So it's very clear what the learner has to achieve if you look at the award standard. So when you download those documents from QQI, FETAC sites, you will see the learner will be able to do this and the learner will be able to do that and the learner will be able to do whatever. So it's clear what the standard is. But the programme then is another piece of work entirely and another document. It's the package that the provider puts together and a provider will put it together depending on their own context. You know, so if you have a provider working with um, and their learner profile is all learners with special needs, they will design a particular type of programme. If you have a provider who works with learners um, who are trying to do a further education course, get into college, that will be a different type of programme. So they will package their programmes in the way that's targeting a particular learner profile, I suppose. So that package has to be described and documented by the provider and submitted into the awarding body for validation. So then the, uh, all of that will have to be assessed and then authenticated and checked and so on by the provider. The provider has to manage all of that process to make sure it's in line with national standards. And then the results have to be approved by the provider. So whenever the assessment piece is over, um, you as tutors who will be assessors, you will then hand over the portfolios and that will be managed by your provider then. They'll have to approve all of those and manage them and so on. And then after that, and it's only after everything is approved by the provider and signed off, that you can request certification then as a provider uh, for your learners. And that's done through an online system that VTAC or Q QQI have with the providers. So there's a whole, it's called a QBS, it's a system where you put in the, all the results to get the award at the end. And then obviously at the very end of that process then, certificates are issued by QQI. And there are six points in the year which you can request certification for your learners. It's every two months, starting in February, roughly, if you go on, so it's kind of February and April and June, August, October, December. Do you know what I mean? So that you have those two monthly periods. So if you have learner, a learner that's not going to be ready for one certification period, you can put them in the next certification period or so on. After you would find out from your provider how often do they process. Providers might make decisions, we're only going to process certification twice in the year. But I suppose their decisions you would have to find out from your own provider. Okay, so that's certification. And then just a quick summary then of the process. So the standards then are national. So what Siobhan was talking about were those national standards. So what is a certificate in general learning? What does the learner have to do? What are the pieces they have to do to get that certificate? And then for each of those pieces, what are the outcomes? What does the learner have to be able to do at the end of doing communications or quantity and number or whatever they are? So they're set, they're developed by the awarding body. The programs then, the next piece in this whole process, is they're developed by the provider, they're local, they're, they're done for target learner groups and so on. The assessment is the next piece. So the technique, part of the assessment is set in the award in the first place. Like what does the learner have to produce? Do they have to do an assignment? Do they have to do an exam? Which they would never be doing at levels one, two and three. But you know, do they have to do a collection of work? So that's set. And then all of the activities are devised and then the actual conducting of assessment is carried out by the provider. So there aren't any centralised exams coming out of that loan for your learners to, to do. You know, they are devised and carried out by the provider. And then at the end of that, once all of the assessments are done, the award then, I suppose the standard is achieved by the learner and the award is made by the awarding body.